Okay, this starts from the aft cabin, which is on a separate video. Walking up the hallway, you do not have to duck. There's plenty of headroom. There is a storage compartment. All of our instrument panel, power, all of that. This is where the engine is. And moving forward, you have some storage for things like, um, you could put maps up there or what have you. You have three cabinets for, we have used them for our, it's our, like our garage, our engine room stuff, all of the tools and engine crap is in there. So, completely flat walkway throughout. There are some bulkheads you need to step over and some small step downs or step ups. There's one right there. This is the nav station. And there's a seat there with a non-opening port. Some of our instruments. Now these, um, the barometer and all of those, those do not work. The radio, the SSB and the uh, VHF do work. There's a fan there. Now these are all opening ports. And this one and that one and the corresponding ports on the other side are equipped with the, I don't know if you can see them. Nope, you can't. They have um, the shades that keep the water out. Here's all nice with storage. This settee supposedly makes into a bed. We've had a couple of people sleep on it, but most of the time we don't have as many people as we need to uh, use all the beds. This is also technically counted as a sleeping area, but again, no. All right, so here is our galley. And so the galley comes to starboard as you step down from the hatchway. You come down here. Nice big steps. That is also a hatch opening to the engine room down below there, so there's plenty of um, access. This right here is our where part of the water maker is, and the rest of the water maker is beneath this cushion. Here again is the galley. We have a two burner stove. We replaced a three burner stove with a two burner stove. Um, and it's served us very well. There used to be a microwave over there, but we did not replace it after it died. Because living on the hook most of the time, we did not feel like we wanted to turn on the generator just to heat up leftovers. So we learned to use the stove for that, just like in the old days. There is some storage beneath this. There's storage here. This is the access to the water manifold. There's four water tanks and you switch from one to the other down inside there. There is another storage bin there and two storage cubbies in the floor in the kitchen. So there's plenty of storage. That's one of the air conditioners. There's one under the aft cabin bed. There's this one and then it's got a booster that is hidden in a cabinet over here. There used to be a television there but we did not ever use it so we took it out to use the space. There's storage beneath that settee as well as the water maker. This is going uh, forward to the V-berth. As you can see, the V-berth gets used for some storage sometimes. Those are the cushions for our cockpit. So those we sit there and that's a project. We're going to make ourselves a new snubber, anchor snubber. There is our flag and a wind scoop. Here are some brand new life jackets, harness type, that come with the boat. And again, here is the head from the forward access.
So it's got um, some storage here. And it is the kind that you have to use the sink for a shower. So you can use this as a shower for your guests. It also has another opening door that goes out this way. I don't know if you can tell. So there's a door there. There's also some storage here in the V-Birth and some life jackets. There's a locker there and some more drawers. There's a little storage underneath these settees. Down here in the floor is access to the macerator for the forward head. And it's a nice sunny room. That's it.